Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I was gonna put my nails up first. Um, I got some cute, I got some cute ass nails. They're totally unrelated, but can I just show them to you real quick? I got them from Chula Nails. You guys know I've been testing out like uh, press-ons lately. Look at them! Don't look at them. Look at them. Aren't they freaking cute? I was gonna put these ones on. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program here. We have all of, one moment. Hello, child. I'm filming. It's no school today. Wow, okay, so many interruptions. So we have the Garner Style XFTF Collection, okay? You know I love fashion to figure. They are obviously some of, they're some of my best good buddies over there. There's a cat near my feet. I'm sorry about that crash. Um, I love fashion to figure. I love their collections, obviously, since I release collections with them as well. Um, so I was super excited to see what Chastity was going to come out with. She has impeccable style. I have always, like, ever since I first started blogging way, 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 way back then, I started following Garner Style, um, and I just, I love her actual style. Like, I love how she puts things together. I love when she does, like, her uh, recreations of, like, celebrity, you know, fashion moments. She's done great, and she can really do it at any size. She has fluctuated greatly in that area, and I have been super impressed just how she manages to continue to, she just has style. If you have style, you can make it work no matter what size you're wearing, no matter what your budget is, like, She's got style, so I was super hyped up because obviously I knew that she was coming out of the collection, so I was super excited to actually see it once it dropped, and I was not disappointed. She came out with like a ski collection, like a snowy, little snow bunny collection. The visuals were great if you haven't seen it. Um, it's all over her stuff. You can go to Fashion to Figure. Obviously, we'll have links for everything down below, um, but she did not disappoint, and I'm super excited to show you guys some of the stuff that she came out with. This stuff does come in sizes zero through ma'am, zero through four, which is a size 12 through a size 28. So um, I'm sure a lot of the sizes are probably already gone by now. This dropped, I think a week or two ago. Um, like, okay, so let's just get into it. This is cute as hell. I'm just gonna pop back so you can see the length on me. Truly, it can actually go much longer. This dress is pretty long on me. It goes down to the ankle. Now, can I finagle it? Can I kind of scrunch it? Can I just bunch it? And can I make it more of like a mid-calf situation? I can, uh, but it is definitely on the longer side for me. I'm gonna really raise the brightness so that you can see the detail of the dress. So you see here in the center, we have like a drawstring, and then this is basically like a little second layer, almost connecting what would have been maybe like two separates. Um, but it's a dress, so it, it is one piece. And then this is a functional drawstring. So if you want, you can make it tighter or looser, but the dress overall is a sweatery material. Um, and so the, the whole thing is incredibly stretchy. It's gonna be very accommodating. And then you have a legitimate turtleneck. Her whole collection is obviously gonna be like cold weather friendly. Um, so, you know, turtlenecks and sweaters and snow stuff. Let me just get into it. So this is the black version and this is the gray version. Hold on, this is my first time putting this one on. Crash, like, do you, can you guys see the cat? Oh, okay, you see his head? Yeah, he's just decided to, oh, my phone's blowing up. My phone's blowing up. Okay, so this is the gray version, though. This gives you a much better feel for what the dress looks like. It's identical to the black one, obviously just in a different color. Uh, same little drawstring and everything. Like I said, if you kind of bunch and scrunch, if you're on the shorter side, I'm 5'4", and like I said, you can kind of bunch and scrunch, and you'll get the dress to be a little bit you know, shorter on you so that it's not like straight down to the floor. But overall, it's obviously very comfortable and it's so freaking cute. Like, oh, hold on, hold on, booty, okay? And we have a third version here. This is more of a, what would you call this color? Kind of like a camel color. Uh, mine's, mine's missing the little tie. <laughs> I don't know if I was just really aggressive when I took it out of the package, um, but it, is supposed to be there so <laughs> it is exactly the same as the other ones it doesn't matter even without it I kind of like the clean look of it like without it but yeah again same as the last two just a different color wear this time all right next up we have this little ensemble okay I felt like this was a really like big key moment for this collection 
It's definitely not something I've seen before in plus sizes, which is great. Like, I do feel like fashion to figure, just as a brand in general, they do a good job of delivering things that a lot of other companies are not giving us. Um, and this is really no different. I think it's super cute. I will say that I feel a little exposed. <laughs> I like the color palette. I loved Overall, I loved the colors of this collection. Thought it was super cute. So I love these colors and I'm freaking in love with the zippers. I don't know if you can really see it because my lighting is, like I said, a little crazy today, but it's like a rose gold zipper. It's so cute. They do both open so you can open it all the way um, down. There's no pockets or anything. The whole thing is just like a skin tight suit basically. But you know, I, I do feel a little exposed. The length is really good on me. Um, and she came out with some jackets and stuff as well. So you could definitely pair it with a jacket, which I'll go ahead and do. The whole thing is super duper stretchy. I'm wearing a one in everything, um, just like I do every other time with FTF. So their sizing is consistent with this collection as well. It has the little thumb holes in it and um, it's a cropped jacket. So she came out with two of these little puffer coats. I don't know how I would feel personally about my belly being exposed quite so much because I feel like my crotch is exposed a little bit too. And I actually do have a shaper short on. So, if I was gonna wear this, I would very, very likely, unless I was actually like on the slopes or something, I would probably have a sweater tied around my bottom half. Like, that's how I would wear it. Cause it is cute as hell, like I really like it. They had sent me the wrong size on the denim, but I did still want to actually show them to you and talk about them. Uh, to be clear, I didn't order all this stuff. I did get sent it like in a PR package, basically. They gifted me the collection. This video is not sponsored in any way, though, so I just felt like it'd be like nice to make the video and tell you guys how everything fits and, you know, if you want to like shop the collection. So, um, these are the jeans that she released with the collection. You can see on the bottom it has like a, a little tie so you have the extra pieces of denim right here and then you just tie them around the ankle and you can kind of close it off and it gives you like that little kind of bag style. And um, the jeans, like I said, I got these ones in a size 12 and I'm size 16 through and through at FTF. I did go ahead and just hurt my little heart and attempt to put these on. <laughs> it was a no go, okay? But um, they do have like a baggy fit to them, like, you know, kind of like that loose like mom jean style. The jeans don't have um, like stretch in them. They're just 100% cotton so this is a denim without being stretched this is it with being stretched so get your size okay but it is a baggy fit on the legs since the jeans obviously are not going to fit me i just popped on a pair of my favorite jeans from express to pair with the sweater so this is an off shoulder i mean you could have it on shoulder you could have it all the way off shoulder it's really up to you crosses in the front and it is a cropped style Everything is very like cold weather friendly, so I'm definitely feeling like really warm and you know cozy in this bad boy. This is in obviously this little pinky color, and then we have a cream one. This cream color is super cute too. It has the exact same fit, style, everything. It's just a different color, and it has plenty of room like in the arms. I mean, it's not like over the top stretchy, but for me and my bigger arms, like they still fit fine. Every now and again, when you have this kind of knit, it will be a little bit too tight and like be kind of like restricting here in the um, armpit area. This one is good to go. <laughs> okay, this is the moment I've been waiting for. So this thing is so freaking soft. It's so cute. It's really long. It's super comfortable, super cozy. It's got the lining on the inside. The outside you have the faux fur. It's in like the prettiest little, oh, the color scheme of this collection would just, just sent me off into another universe. It was so good. <laughs> So this is uh, Turtle Neck. This is part of her collection as well. And um, there are a couple different colors, which I will show you, or another color in a different print. And it is a full length. I know you guys don't want everything to be grub. So here you go. It is a full length Turtle Neck. Obviously fits really, you know, easy, comfortably, nice and stretchy. Um, and then this is in a size one. It does have the little hook and eye closures on it. Whether or not you'd close it, I mean, I don't know. I personally can comfortably get the first two closed and then it still looks good. Oh, and there's pockets. <laughs> don't know if I've ever gotten much of that, but there are some pockets on it. Um, if I tried to close the next ones, like around my butt and my stomach, it's 
it's not gonna happen. I mean, it could happen, but it's like not gonna be a cute situation. Um, so you can comfortably close the top too, though, if you're a little bit more bottom heavy. Uh, length is really good for me. It hits right to my knee. And this is really how I would probably style it. Like, I'm going to the grocery store as soon as I'm done filming this video, and I will very likely be wearing like a sweat. Oh, maybe I'll wear this and be cute for once. Um, maybe not. Um, but I normally just wear like a sweater or a hoodie, even though it's, you know, it's 30 degrees outside, it's 20 degrees outside. So long as it's not like crazy windy, I don't like to be really bunched up um, when I have to go and get groceries or run an errand like that. It's just because I get super flustered, I have anxiety, like <laughs> having too many layers, it really stresses me out. So I say all that to say this, this is an outfit that I could wear and be comfortable because my arms are out but still have some coverage from the cold because it's not pretend cold where I live, it's cold cold where I live. So we're not into the crazy digits, we're not into the negative 20s and 30 wind chill, negative 40 wind chill. We haven't hit those days yet. I see you February, I see you looking at me. Um, but we have, you know, it's cold, it's snowing outside. So this is something that if you don't like to be super, it, like it doesn't feel cumbersome, which for some people you're not gonna care, but for other people, this is the kind of like reprieve that you need in your life. Very cute, I really, really, really like it. And then as far as the turtleneck goes, it fits perfectly. It fits exactly how a turtleneck should fit. Really cute. And let's go ahead and switch the color. All right, popping into some snake print here. Again, the pink, oh, so cute. Now I also popped on the leggings. I wish I didn't have the shaper short on, but to be honest, I don't have any drawers underneath it. So like, I'm not gonna take it off and not have any drawers on, period. All right, we're not that kind of channel. Um, these are so cute, okay? They're super like metallic almost. Like they have a serious sheen to them. As you can see, there's a little bit of belly line. There are some seams in the front and then obviously the ones that are on the side. The length is perfect for me. I have a little bit of bunching down there, which, you know, if you're a little bit taller, that means you'll have a little bit more space down there. How does it look from the back? It looks pretty good. I don't find them to be like wildly revealing. The band on them is really thick up top and then it does actually have a zipper. I did not see a need to uh, pull the zipper. And then this right here is actually just the tag. So I would probably snip that out or push it up so that you can't see it through the material. And then obviously the same um, turtleneck. Did I call it a tank top earlier? I hope not. But I have the same little turtleneck on and then this one, the underneath side, it doesn't have the print so you just make sure to kind of have it roll down like you would a proper turtleneck and bam baby. How cute. Okay, I like this outfit with a puffer jacket like added up top. Like I said, it's a cropped jacket so you're definitely gonna have your booty out. I mean, unless you got like a sweater on or something. It's got a nice size hood on it too. I mean, the hoods are not to be forgotten when it comes to the winter time and protecting yourself from the cold. Anytime I go outside in a jacket that doesn't have a damn hood on it in the morning, like when I'm taking the kids to the bus stop, I regret it instantly. Um, and then I forgot to mention it does have a zipper and then it has the little snaps to close it and it has a snap on each uh, pocket as well so that you can you know secure those if you really are like out there on the slopes sloping <gasps> speaking of sloping hold on what is this this is so cute I'm obsessed with it okay so I, I had a little struggle when I got it on right but like from your perspective you don't know that that happened you don't understand Stop it. I don't even know what to call this. What do they call it? I don't know, but it's so cute. So I just have on the black turtleneck now. Again, part of her collection. It's the same as the last one that I showed you. Um, and it's very comfortable, so cute. What the hell is this? I don't even know what this is, but I'm so obsessed with it. So um, there's no pockets or anything. It's just like a straight up pull it on little onesie situation. It's not a onesie though, but like this, this moment up here, I'm loving the way my body looks right now, real cute. Uh, okay, so now to give you the full disclosure here, my calves, I just measured them the other day. Ah, oh, damn, I don't forgot how big they were. I think they're like 18, 18 and a half inches, something like that. Um, I think 18 and a half inches sounds about right. I struggled <laughs> to pull this up. Um, it's not like super stretchy. It does have 
some structure to it so I did struggle to get it like actually up my leg I mean above the knee it's totally fine like it, it's got enough stretch in it to like give me the room that I personally need it was just like on my calves and over my feet the very end the last foot or so of the material uh, I was definitely feeling some <laughs> There's a little restriction happening down there. Uh, but I think once I have it on, like you can't actually tell. It's not uncomfortable by any means. It was just something that like if your calves are a little bit bigger, you might have even more trouble doing it. If you can afford to like go up a size and the rest of your body won't like, you know, be swimming in material, maybe do that. I don't know if that would make it too long because I do feel like it's a pretty solid like otherwise it's a pretty solid fit for me um, and it's not you know you can't like adjust the straps or anything so you just don't want to be too big because then it might be like falling off but overall really into it don't know where the hell I'm wearing this I don't <gasps> while we're here though let's just take a second after Chastity posted like all of the stuff you know she started posting stuff and everybody's like oh my god where'd you get that 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 and that uh, well she had posted where she got her boots, right? And so I was like, what? Those are cute as hell. So she had gotten the mauve Sorel boots. Sorel? Sorel. Sorel. It's funny, okay, I was on FaceTime yesterday with my friend, right? I think I mentioned that already. I had the boots like all the way in the back, like just sitting on the floor. And she's like, what's that? Let me see them. Let me see what you bought. <laughs> I was like, what? She said, let me see what's in that Sorel box. I was like, oh, okay. Um, I had, like I'd heard of them, but I didn't realize it was like a thing. Um, so the mauve ones that she wore were sold out, but I didn't tend to like take photos and stuff in this. Um, I was hoping the snowfall would happen. I'm still gonna take pictures at some point. I'm just waiting for like fresh snowfall. Uh, but I ended up getting them in this white color and I think I actually ended up getting them directly from the site, but they are the Joan of Arctic Next. I got them at a nine and a half because I tend to size up in my snow boots, but I definitely did not need to do that. They're not wide calf or anything by any means. And like I told you, I have wide calves, but um, they are so comfortable. I think I spent $150 on these ones, which is not, you know, a cheap snow boot, but as far as boots go, it's not like the most I've paid and the quality feels so good. They fit really nicely. Um, as much as I would have loved to get the mauve ones that she had, because it definitely goes with the collection, but it goes with like my general vibe and life. Those were sold out. Um, but these ones are like fully in stock, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I might, maybe I got them from Nordstrom, but I don't think I did. I think I got them from the Sorrel site. Uh, but anyway, super cute. I love the height that it gives you. It gives me like another solid inch. So cute, but definitely wide calf friendly, I would say. So um, just thought I would mention these. Let me lower that brightness so you can get the look here. So these ones do have red accents, which I didn't love, um, but it would kind of go with this particular outfit. Anyway, just thought I would mention them. I'll try to link them down below. All right, guys, we have officially come to the end of the video and quite possibly my favorite part. Okay, look at this. Let's start with the hood. It's huge. Where'd she go? I don't know. Where is she? Is she in there? Could be somebody else. It's me. It says me. So uh, obviously we have a hooded snowsuit, okay? Like I said, I'm 5'4". I got real like Michelin man legs going on right now. Oh yeah. I feel very short in this moment, but uh, no, that's okay. <gasps> How cute would this look with the, um, oh, it has a little thing on the bottom so you can like uh, tighten the ankle. That's actually great because if you don't want snow to get in, you act, you want that um but i think this would look super good with those snow boots i just showed you guys like oh my gosh okay this is so cute it has the elastic around the waist it has zippered pockets and the pockets are nice and deep so you could definitely fit you know some stuff in here phone hand sanitizer i don't know i don't know what you carry these days i usually carry my phone i could definitely attest to it being hot okay nice and warm because I'm about to start sweating like crazy in here. Um, it fits really well. It's not too tight on my butt, on my hips, on my thighs, on my legs, on my stomach, on my chest, on my arms. All of it fits super good. If you're a plus size girl and you've been a plus size girl for a long time, you know sometimes I feel bad for people that like suddenly became plus size because they don't know where to go, what to do, and how to function in this world because you know it used to be made for them in their petite form and then when they added a little bit more to their form suddenly they were like oh oh the world the world isn't designed for fat people the stores don't care what our clothes look like is that what you're saying yeah okay so sometimes i feel bad for bigger folk because they don't know where to get things but if you've ever attempted to get 
a snowsuit like this. Something cute, but also functional. As a plus size person, you have probably realized it's not easy and you are probably going to end up in like something that's, you know, targeted towards men, a men's snowsuit, something like that, because those sizes go bigger and those will be a little bit more accommodating in the stomach and the leg area, but they're not made for us. But like this is great to have, this option is great to have if you're not going anywhere right now, but maybe one day you feel like, hey, I might hit a slope. I, I like saying that, I've never hit a slope. What are you talking about? I don't, I don't do that. Um, but I like, this is something you, you could get and then just keep because it's gonna be timeless. It's just a puffer white jumpsuit with like silver details and a nice little faux fur hood. Like this is something I could wear, I'm sure for the next 10 years and still look good, girl. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to check out any of this stuff, feel free to hit whatever links I end up putting down below. Um, if any of it's sold out, I won't link it. Ooh, I don't have any clothes under here. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I think uh, Chastity did a really good job on this collection and I'm super excited to see what else Fashion Figure has in store for us all this year. And yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If I like missed any notes on sizing or stretchiness or whatever, put it down below and I'll be more than happy to respond. I have lots of videos planned, so stick around, subscribe if you want to. And I have been co-currently uh, filming for like TikTok and trying to post more on Instagram as well. So yes, I know I'm not on my vlog channel. I mentioned it already. I just took a break uh, for the month at the very least. Maybe longer. I don't know. But definitely just you can find me other places. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and um, here, of course. So I uh, hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.